At $50 or just £45, the Tautronic Sound Liberty 79s are one of the most compact options at this price point. But are they the best bang for your buck? How do they compare to similarly priced options? Do they really have the best call quality? And why do some people think that they have noise cancellation at this very low price? Well, make sure you stick around because we're gonna be finding out all the answers to all of those questions right now. Don't forget to check the affiliate links in the description below for all the latest prices. I was sent these by Tautronics in exchange for my honest opinion, so that's exactly what I'm gonna share with you guys today, pros and cons included. So let's get to it. Hey guys, it's Mark here, and I'm back to review some more affordable tech in my quest to sort the god tier from the garbage and hopefully save you some hard-earned money in the process. Okay, let's start with round one where I'm gonna rate the 79s on build quality and design with a few of my first impressions thrown in for good measure. Straight out of the box, you've got Bluetooth 5.0 and IPX7 waterproof rating, USB-C fast charging, the ability to use either earbud independently, touch controls, awesome battery life and an insanely compact design. Before we get into this, I just want to quickly acknowledge Tautronic's claims of a 96% reduction of ambient noise through noise cancellation because I recently read a review and it said something like, the noise cancellation on the 79s was barely noticeable compared to the passive noise cancellation that you'd get with any other pair of earbuds. He couldn't notice the noise cancellation because the noise cancellation feature on the 79s refers to call quality. I just wanna set that straight right now so there's no confusion. There is no active noise cancellation on the Sound Liberty 79s and therefore obviously no pass-through mode or anything like that at all. Good, so now we've got that out of the way, I've just gotta give a massive high five to Tautronics for putting out one of the most compact pairs of true wireless earbuds of 2020 so far. So that's already full marks for being pocket friendly. The earbuds themselves are also insanely light and compact, though they are a little bit chunkier than other similarly shaped options out there, like the Sabat E12 Ultras. There's some really nice bright blue LEDs discreetly placed on top of each earbud, which I really like to see on the 79s. However, I don't really like to see it when they flash all the time. Yep, even during playback, they still flash, not as fast as they do flash during pairing mode, but I just thought you guys should probably know that before buying them. But even still, that's an instant seven out of 10 from me in terms of build and design. Okay, it's a plastic heavy build, but we're at a very affordable price still here with the 79, so that's easily forgivable. Without a doubt, the compact design wins all the points here, and I would have happily even given them an eight out of 10 if it wasn't for the LEDs flashing during playback, which yeah, looks cool, but probably isn't always ideal. Round two is all about battery life and considering the 79's insanely compact design, I can guarantee you'll then be extra impressed here because you're looking at eight hours of playback in a single sitting with 40 hours in total with the charging case. That's an instant nine out of 10 for battery life being far superior to anything even around triple the price and only being bested by the god tier battery of the creative outlier golds. In round three, I'm rating the Sound Liberty 79s based on how securely and how comfortably they fit. And I'll also be throwing in my thoughts on how they look when you're wearing them too, even though that is massively subjective and you can form your own opinion on that too. Personally, I find that in-ear true wireless earbuds of this shape and design, much like the Sabat E12 Ultras, have a far superior fit than any other earbud design. The 79s, however, fit even better than the E12 Ultras thanks to their wingtips, which help to balance out that little bit of extra bulk that they do have. So yeah, I can definitely recommend these for working out, running, and even in the bedroom. That was, that was a joke, but when you think about it, it's probably true. When you've got them in, I think they look pretty awesome. They're, they're very futuristic looking, in my opinion. And that's largely thanks to their kind of matte black feel, but also because they're incredibly compact. And especially if you don't mind that flashing blue LED, I think they look pretty damn good. So that's an eight out of 10 from me for fit and comfort. They're perfect for workouts and probably one of the most secure fits I've experienced since 
something like the Liberty 2 Pros. Okay, it's time for round four, and that means we're gonna be testing the microphone quality and the noise cancelling performance of the 79, so. So what do you think? The actual overall quality here is pretty good when you consider the price. Not the best thing I've ever heard in the world. The real moneymaker here is that noise cancellation on my voice. And obviously there's no background noise now, so you can't hear any. So I'm gonna introduce the background noise in just a sec. Listen, as soon as I introduce it, you'll hear the background noise for like maybe half a second and then it just goes totally dead, okay? So I'm gonna introduce the background noise in three, two, one. Believe it or not, there is background noise in play right now. It's train track noises, there's a low rumble from the train, but you can't hear any of it. And you might be able to hear that the microphone is cutting off my voice quite early and maybe cutting in my voice a little bit late. And only when I'm speaking, only when you can actually hear my voice, can you maybe pick up a little bit of that background noise. But when I'm silent, you'll basically hear nothing. So that's pretty insane. I have to say, I'm really impressed. And for cool quality in busy environments, this is unreal. That's a nine out of 10 for microphone performance from me. They offer some of the best ambient noise reduction on cool quality that I've ever heard in true wireless earbuds. And as a package, the 79s have the best overall offering in terms of cool quality full stop. In round five, I'm gonna rate the Sound Liberty 79s in terms of functionality and usability. So that's gonna be audio visual lag, Bluetooth connection and touch controls. First up is audio visual lag and when watching YouTube, Netflix or gaming, you're gonna notice some delay here. It's about half a second, so it is a little bit harder to tune out than you'd get with a very minor delay, so make sure you note that if it's gonna be a big deal breaker for you. I would have loved to have seen the support of Aptex codec here to try and combat this issue. Bluetooth connection is solid with great range, no random disconnect so far, and an instant pairing every time I remove the earbuds from the case. Of course, you can only pair one device at a time though, so if you're gonna be switching from your phone to your laptop a lot, you're gonna to have to manually disconnect them from one device before connecting them back to another. That is pretty common at this price point though. But other than that, there's not too much to get excited about in terms of functionality. But the 79s do salvage some points by having some seriously awesome touch controls because other options like the Life P2s, again, same price, they're still sporting those really uncomfortable button controls which you can't even use to adjust volume. So I'm gonna give the 79s a six out of 10 for functionality and usability. Not only is there not really much to get excited about, but the audio visual lag lost a couple of points here as well. The sixth and final round is the most important round of all, sound quality. But before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell, just slap it, just give it a good ring. <laughs> I don't know why we've suddenly got really violent and we're hitting things, but just do it. That's because I'm on a quest to uncover the best affordable tech out there in 2020 and beyond. So if that sounds good to you, you are most definitely welcome to come along for the ride. I'm also gonna be giving away a bunch of True Wireless earbuds on my Instagram in 2020, so check the comments for the links to that too. Okay, let's talk sound quality. So, the 79s offer a well-balanced sound signature, which handles nearly all genres of music no problem. Bass is warm and deep without sounding boomy, but definitely not overemphasized or in danger of overshadowing vocals at any point. Like with other true wireless earbuds around this price, high notes sound a little bit harsh, tracks with heavy cymbal crashes or loose hi-hats can sound a little bit brash at times. The mids are probably the 79 strong point, however, meaning vocals offer exceptional clarity and maintain center stage at all times. Sound stage isn't anything special here by any means, but that does apply to everything else at this price point as well. If it wasn't for the insane sound quality that I experienced with the Life P2s in my previous review, I'd have probably said that the sound quality here was awesome and really especially great considering the price. But since the P2s have really upped my expectations at this still incredibly modest price point, I'm gonna have to give the 79s a seven out of 10 for sound quality. It's definitely better than average, but it doesn't offer sound that punches too far above its price point. 
Overall, the Tautronic Sam Liberty 79 scored a 46 out of 60. That's 7.6 out of 10. The pros here are plentiful and incredibly compact design. The most compact at this price point, I'm pretty sure. Insane battery life, USB-C charging, great touch controls, cool quality, and an incredibly secure fit. The cons are more audiovisual lag than I'd like to see and fairly average sound quality. So there's definitely a lot more pros than cons. Since I've mentioned the Soundcore Life P2 so much in this video, you should probably click here and go and check out my full review of those. Or you can check out my review of my favorite true wireless earbuds of 2020 so far here. So pick one of those and I will see you in the next video.